Well, Bubba, congrats on your first win. Have you had time to process that yet? Yes, I have. I've uh, been able to enjoy it a little bit. Um, Monday night was, was, was good from what I can remember. Um, but no, nah, man, just, you know, just proud, proud of, of, of everybody and uh, 2311, proud of um, everybody that's pushed me to, you know, get to this level, um, getting our partners in victory lane. You know, everything started so late for us last year. And so, you know, getting McDonald's back in victory lane since the first time since 94 is crazy, which their last win was at Talladega. Like the history is just crazy how it repeats itself. And, um, you know, Toyota being back in that family, uh, the new brands coming on, DoorDash, Columbia, Root, uh, Dr. Pepper back in the sport. Like, man, just just super cool. Very humbling. You mentioned 2311 obviously being year one for them. Mm -hmm. To celebrate that win with the guys on your crew, the people in the race shop, co-owners Denny mm -hmm. Hamlin and Michael Jordan, yep. what was that like for you? The coolest part about getting our first win was, I don't know the exact stat line, so don't quote me on this, but I'm gonna go with 90 to 95% of our team just got their first win. Oh, wow. Like that's cool, that's really cool. Um, and so like, I'm proud of them, you know, because they, they've never been in that situation before. And the majority of us haven't, um, but we were all able to uh, rise to the occasion and not not let the hype get to us, you know, at one of the craziest races. You know, Talladega is a beast of its own, but we were able to pull through and get our first win. Uh, and we've seen MJ at the track. We know how passionate mm -hmm. he is about this sport, mm -hmm. about his team, and about you getting yeah. a win. So what was your conversation with him like? Uh, it, was, it was short and sweet. I was like, hey, man, I just landed. I'm going to the house to party. And he was like, He's just proud. He's happy for the team, proud of the team. Um, but, you know, his winning mentality, he's like, all right, let's keep it up. Don't get complacent. Right. Celebrate this one. And then on Tuesday, let's let's get yep. back to work. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, for you, when you put everything into perspective, if you go back to, to 2020, mm -hmm. June of 2020, and then now October of 21, and you think about mm -hmm. everything that you experienced personally, yep. can you put that into perspective for me, what this last year plus has been like for you? Um, ups and downs, rounds and rounds, you know, it's called life. Um, you, you learn and you grow and you mature from moments like June of 2020. And you start to realize your place in the world, you realize your place in the sport, and you, you learn to appreciate parts of those things, you learn to hate some other parts of those things. And, and uh, it's all part of it. So, you know, for us, or for me to go back to Talladega, it's, it's no issue. I know to show up and I want to go win. and. And it was just crazy. Friday night, Saturday morning, Amanda and I looked at each other and we're like, we're going to win. And she's like, yeah, yeah, we are. But like, not like a joking around confidence thing, but it was just like, I have a really good feeling, you know? Um, and it's just, it's just unreal that it happened. So you have that feeling, you get to Monday, the race gets pushed back because mm -hmm. of rain, you get the lead. Then you go, yep. it gets red flagged, yep. you're just sitting there, you're hanging yep. out on pit road. Take me through the emotions of, of what you were experiencing, waiting to see what was going to happen. Yeah, what's funny is people think I was like going crazy, um, but my emotions were completely in check because I was just keeping it 100% real with myself. I was like, hey, we have 71 laps to go and there is a very small opportunity to get this race back going. And so protocol is to get the race in. And I said, just make sure you're there. You make sure you're in the same spot after these 71 laps, simple as that. But then there was a little part of me that was like, call it, call it, call it, call it so we can go home uh, and celebrate. Um, and it ended up raining again for a really long time after that. So it was it was over with. When you think about the win for yourself, but also just the magnitude of it, right? Mm -hmm. When you think about little kids that look up to you and yeah. they see you go and win, and now they think, wait, maybe I could go do that, right? When you yeah. really put it into perspective, what it means for not just you, your family and your friends, but everybody, yeah. what comes to mind for you? <sighs> Finally, you know, I've been working so hard for for this moment. My, my family knows that um, we've, we've had a lot of rough patches. I've had a lot of rough days, and, uh, sleepless nights. And uh, it's moments like this that make those moments a little bit sweeter. You know, it make you, makes you appreciate those moments to look back and reflect and uh, enjoy what we have going right now. And, it's all part of the process. And you see the, obviously the headline that was out there. You're the first bike driver to get a win since 1963. When you think about it's been that long and now you're the next person to go and do it, what do you hope comes from, from that win in that aspect? You know, I, for, for me, you know, I've, I've always just went to the racetrack to race mm -hmm. and let everything else settle in place. And 
Anytime I spent too much time focusing on those things, never would get a good result. And so, um, being able to go to victory lane and, and for me mentally just say, I won, that's it for me. I let the media do the rest of the talking. So, right. um, you know, you know, happy for the African American community, you know, happy for my family, you know, I'm a biracial kid from Mobile, Alabama, uh, moved to Concord when I was two. Um, I always said I had the best of both worlds. Um, and uh, so just happy for my family, you know, we can all let this win soak in and, and, and enjoy it. And uh, while we let, you know, the African American community enjoy it as well. Absolutely. And then obviously you were awarded at Drive for Diversity Awards. Mm -hmm. You get the National Series driver. You got a little emotional during your speech, but what was that award like coming here and getting that? It was cool. It was like full circle. Um, being here, I remember when I was a kid sitting there and, and uh, just being a, being a part of this deal, um, you know, on a much smaller scale. And so 11 years ago, 11, 11 years ago, I was here just, just uh, innocent bystander. And now being where I'm at today, being a winner, super cool.